Hi, welcome to this lesson on floodlight configuration in DV360. Floodlight tags are essential for tracking conversions, measuring campaign performance, and retargeting users. By setting up floodlight tags correctly, you can gather valuable insights into how users are interacting with your ads and website. Today, I will walk you through step-by-step -step process of configuration floodlight tags, ensuring you are set up for accurate tracking and better optimizations. I want to add a little disclaimer. Firstly, I will talk how to add floodlight activities and tags via DV360, but if you have your campaign manager 360 connected to your DV360, then you should do the configuration of floodlight tags via campaign manager 360. So you can skip the first part of the lesson. But let's start it first with DV360 Blood Light configuration. On the advertiser level, on the right side of your screen, go into resources and then go into floodlight group. Then click into floodlight activity and choose web. Afterwards, name your floodlight tag. As an example, I choose Add to Cart. Afterward, choose the format. I suggest to choose Google Tag because we can add the tag via Google Tag Manager, but still you can add a, a tag into your website also. Type, we have two types, counter and sales. Everything rather than purchase, you can choose as counter and then counting method either choose standard where you count every conversion or you can choose unique count the first conversion for each unique user during each 24 hour day and also you can count per session count one conversion per user per session session length is set by the site where the floodlight tag is deployed i will choose standard in attribution, you can choose enable activity for attribution. If it comes to personalized ad exclusions, I, I would choose don't exclude locations for this activity. But in Google support, you can learn a little bit more about this option. Usually this feature is typically used to comply with privacy regulations or to avoid targeting certain regions where personalized advertising might not be appropriate or allowed. Custom floodlight variables, I don't add anything. Remarketing, we can enable it. And that's it. We can click create. And then you will see your tag added in here in floodlight activities. But then you should go into basic details and you will see the advertiser name and you will see all details which you have chosen creating your first floodlight. Afterwards, you can choose attribution, conversion window, for example, in here. You can choose attribution model. If you click edit, you can create a new model and then you can choose attribution model as a last interaction, first interaction, liner, time decay and position based. And then Google interactions, we can connect Google Tag Manager and that's what I suggest you to do. You have to link your account of Google Tag Manager in here. You have to add here Google Tag Manager link, container, contain, container type, and uh, send the request. And in your Google Tag Manager, you have to accept this. Also add your Google Analytics into DV360. This way you will be able to see all the audience list from Google Analytics and also you will be able to use Google Analytics events. And you also can adjust custom metrics in active view. If you enable here, you can choose your via viewability percent and some other data. And then you can click save. Afterwards, you should reach out to your IT expert 
and send him information that you have created a tag in DV360 and he or she have to add it on their site in Google Tag Manager. There they will need to create a new tag, match it as a floodlight, either type counter or sales. You will also have to give them ID number of your advertiser and they will connect it for you. Once tag is connected correctly, in, in some days you should see some data of impressions in here and you can create many different types of tags such as page view, such as click or lead count or purchase and so many more depends how your page is built. If it comes to Campaign Manager 360, it works similar way as in DV360. In Floodlight configurations, firstly, you have to match your Campaign Manager 360 with Google Tag Manager. You have to link to a container. And then in Activities, you should have also option to create a new activity. And then you provide a name, you provide a status, you choose a type, counter or sales. Afterwards, you choose a format. And once you save your floodlight and click again into it, you will have options Google Tag Manager. And here you will have to add it to choose your container, which you have linked previously in configuration. and then push into Google Tag Manager. Afterwards, the IT expert in your company or in your team will do the rest and add tags into Google Tag Manager. Afterwards, when tag is linked correctly, you will see some data in here. Also, all fluid lights which you have created in Campaign Manager 360, you will see them in DV360 if those accounts are linked. So if you have Campaign Manager 360, you shouldn't create your fluid light in DV360. Another great thing which I would like to discuss with you is custom bidding. On the right side of your screen, go into resources and then custom bidding. In here, if your fluid lights are already working good, or you have connected your Google Analytics form into your DV360 account or Campaign Manager 360 account, you should be able to create custom bidding based on your floodlight tags or conversion tracking tags. Click New Algorithm and afterwards provide a name of your custom bidding and select an objective. Select Brand Awareness, Clicks, Conversions or Custom. For this example, I will choose Conversions. Then we can add rule either from Google Analytics Conversion or Floodlight Activity. Let's choose Floodlight Activities. And then in here I can choose Product Details and Add to Cart. I click Apply. And then in here we can choose conversions to count. If it comes to product detail, I can say that I would like to count only unique conversions. And in add to cart, I would like to count total conversions. If it comes to conversion type, in product details, I want to count post click conversions. And in add to cart, I also would like to count post click conversions. And if it comes to the score, you should score your conversion, your floodlight activity. More important the activity, more scores you should give. So let's say product details, in this case, I would set as 5 and add to car, I would set as 10. Because Floodlight activity such as add to cart is more valued for me. That's why I give it a higher score. As an example, if we added a purchase also as a floodlight activity, 
I would set a score as 10 into purchase, 5 into add to cart and 2 into product details. So depend on which strategy you choose and which micro conversions you choose for your custom bidding. This way you can score your floodlight activities. In more settings, we can also score when more than one rule is true. If an impression satisfy more than one rule, to calculate the final score, use the maximum score. In my opinion, I wouldn't choose this one. I would choose add the scores together because if few of those floodlight activities are done by a user, then I would like to know the total score of those floodlight rules. If I choose this option, use the maximum score, I will see in my reports only score of 10 because purchase has the higher score. So it's a maximum score in this floodlight configurations. And we can also add a multiplier. We can apply multipliers for add position, creative dimension, date time, and device type. What it actually does? Multipliers help us to automatically increase or decrease a line item's fixed CPM bid based on different criteria. For example, if mobile performs tend to perform better for you, you can target both mobile and desktop devices in a single line item and then set a bid multiplier to increase the bid for mobile devices. Without bid multiplier, you would need to use two separate line items to use different bids for mobile and desktop inventory. So let's choose device type and then we can select smartphone. And in multiplier, we can choose from one to five rating values. And let's say our line item bid is $5 for CPM. Then by setting two in the multiplier, the bit would be changed to 10 CPM for impressions for that match that dimension. So if in one line item we target desktop and mobile and we set our bit for five, in mobile devices in smartphones our bid will be multiplied by two this way we can do it with add position with creative dimension day and time and we can also combine those multipliers afterwards we can click next here you should see some test overview and then afterwards you can click save so custom binning is another great way to optimize your campaign if you already have enough data of floodlight activities on the account and you would like to focus on more advanced optimizations, not only on clicks or impressions. This way you can combine different type of interaction with your customers and depends what type of activity they have made on your website, you can target particular message to them. I hope this lesson was useful and floodlight configuration and setup is now more clear for you. Thank you for this lesson and I'll see you in the next 